Tour announced its 2011 tour in grand style thanks to the new Brooklyn, New York setup from tour sponsor partner Vans. The brand new indoor skate park and concert venue featured skaters at the top on one side with a concert stage parked on the other. Playing the event was Lion Eyes, The School of Rock, and MC Lars, among others. The event also featured some visiting Warp Tour veterans like Civ, H2O, Lords of Brooklyn, and Thursday, who welcomed Vans to its new home in New York. The event was hosted by Shira Girl, who will do the honors on tour. Main headliners for the Vans Warp Tour were later announced to be 303, Travi McCoy, A Day to Remember, The Devil Wears Prada, and Asking Alexandria as the main artists. Others making partial tour runs include The Ready Set, Simple Plan, Black Veil Brides, and Gym Class Heroes, among others. Tour organizer Kevin Lyman said that due to the state of the touring industry and record industry, they've appropriately got a lot more indie vibe this year, and he admitted doing more homework to discover talent. There's very few major label bands on the work tour this year. It's back to where we were in 1995, when we had Civ and you know, Quicksand and all those kind of bands. This year's Warp Tour is very reflective of where we are then. It hasn't changed in 17 years, it's come full circle. And these bands are gonna get out there and work their asses off. They're looking at diesel prices or gas prices. We're gonna all figure out how to get down the road this summer. I, had, I got laid up for two months after the tour and just sat there and started listening to music again. Stop listening to agents, stop listening to managers, and start listening to music and start to try to feel where things were going and book the tour that I think is reflective and very diverse and very cool. And in my mind, you're going to find gems out there, you know, and some of those gems are playing tonight. Thursday, a band from New Brunswick, New Jersey, just outside of New York City, talked about how cool it is to have an East Coast base for Warped and Vans. Ha having this, this compound here is amazing. It's like, I mean, I've always been a big fan of Warp Tour and I've always loved doing it, you know, and I just always love being a part of it and all the bands that are a part of it and the community that you have with it and all the people that work there. And then just to see all these heads, these California heads here in the, in the cold tundra of Brooklyn, New York is awesome. It's like a kind of reunion. It's really nice. Yeah. MC Lars, who is playing the whole Warp Tour, talked about playing the kickoff and hitting the road on the tour in the summer. This is our first time doing the Warp Tour, and uh, they wanted to show that they're bringing hip hop back and doing a lot of hip hop this summer. So they invited us to come play the kickoff party. I live in Greenpoint, really close, so it's like a five minute walk. So it's dope. I've walked past the space like so many times, and we're here to rock it. Warp Tour 2011 starts June 24th in Dallas, Texas. Beginning today, for a short time only, concert goers can purchase lower price tickets at warptour.com. Not only are tickets going for about $25 a piece, fans who buy via the presale get a commemorative 3D ticket, which also serves as a jump the line early entry pass, a Vans Warp Tour 2011 compilation CD, and a 25 cent donation to the Unite the United charity and all service fees. Only a limited number of tickets are available for this price in each city, and once they're gone, they're gone. Tune back as we'll have more from host Shira Girl, Thursday and more about Van's deeper involvement in the tour in the coming days. The complete itinerary this year is as follows. 